Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Want to get my shots on these Lonzo Ball shoes that just got released today. Uh, so I get in my car, turn on the radio, I'm listening to Kelvin Marcellus on 710 ESPN Radio, and they're talking about Lonzo Ball's shoes that just got dropped for $495. Now, I'm not even tripping on the price. I, I just said, you know what? I want to see these shoes. Uh, and why am I fascinated about this, 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 this story? Because I'm a, somewhat of a sneakerhead. I love sneaker aesthetics. Uh, I don't spend a lot of money on shoes, but I do buy my fair pair of like Nike trainers or whatever And I do I do go to the to the outlets all the time looking for you know I, I work close to the outlets and I'm always buying sneakers, right? So I love sneaker. I, I like sneaker heads I like watching YouTube and looking at you know really true sneaker heads and just like I wouldn't I wouldn't spend thousands of dollars on shoes, but I like sneakers, right? So I'm like fascinated. I'm wanting to see what these sneakers look like. And so my first impression is like, man, these look like 2K generics, right? Like just plain black, no labels or whatnot. So it, it was, you know, some people say they look like Kobe 7s or whatever. You put a Nike symbol on and it's true. But this, the, the, the story on the radio, Marcellus and Kelvin was talking about that Marcella was saying there's a market for these shoes. Somebody's gonna buy them, you know, look at Yeezys and whatever, and, um, and this and that. <clears throat> Here's the thing. First off, Lonzo Ball, LaVar Ball, props to them for just creating their own shoe, whatever, and doing them, right? Is a shoe gonna sell? A few people will buy these shoes, but here's the thing about basketball sneakers. Okay, if this was like a, a lifestyle brand type of shoe, it would be different. But for basketball sneakers that look like just like peak peak shoes that you see, you see those peak shoes, right? Uh, Lou Williams wear peak. Um, Tony Parker wears peak. You know that China brand that a lot of NBA players wear. It looks like those type of shoes, sh shoes that are made from China, and they just slap a logo on it. Now, um, the 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 big baller brand. I don't like that though. The triple B. I think that's kind of whack. I like the new logo. The new Lonzo Ball logo, it's like a circle with a Z in it. That's dope. Um, but as a designer myself, I don't really like the big baller brand logo. I think they just, they made that out of like Microsoft Word or something and it looks cheesy. But um, in terms of the shoe, shoes are really hard to, it's really hard to, to do sneakers, basketball shoes to the point to where you think those are dope if you're not associated with Nike or Adidas, right? Look at Under Armour. I mean, hell, Steph Curry is like one, you know, the most famous player in the, in the world, but his basketball shoes aren't selling as well because they're ugly, right? And they have uh, just they just look like dad shoes, right? And so his his Curry ones were dope. You know, a lot of players, a lot of people wore those shoes. The Curry threes are okay, but the point here is that you're not going to see like Wale wearing a pair of you know. Curry's or Lonzo Ball shoes with some skinny jeans in the front row at 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 the Laker game, right? He's gonna be rocking Jordans or some LeBrons or or whatever, right? So the thing about these shoes is it's really hard to pull off basketball sneakers. Now it ain't the price. Price four hundred ninety five dollars. That's just outrageous to begin with. But if these shoes were like fifty nine dollars, it would it would still look cheesy, right? So the price point is high, so which is crazy, um, which is not terrible, terribly bad. If they were cool looking shoes and they were dope, people would buy them for $495. I mean, Yeezys, you know, they're like $2,000, $1,500. You can go online right now on, uh, you know, uh, what's that flight store, whatever it is, and you can get a pair of Yeezys, $1,200 or some shoes for $600. They look dope. You know, shoes that are dope, that looks cool aesthetically, um, people will pay money for those. But if they just look like peak athletic shoes, you, um, you know, something that you would see that's made out of China with no design skills, you know, in the shoe, nobody's going to wear them. So I like Lonzo Ball. I like his family. I like LeVar Ball. Hey, good for them. They're getting pub. They're 15 minutes of fame. Uh, Lonzo Ball will ball out. Um, I hope we get him in the draft. Um, this upcoming draft, I think he will do play, you know, he will ball out in his shoes or whatever. But in terms of his shoe, in terms of being a 
something that people were gonna wear and be looking cool and, and somebody, you know, will cop those shoes or whatever. Um, outside of his family and his friends wearing these shoes, I don't see people scou you know, scouring the web just to buy these cool, cool looking shoes. It's like, they just don't look good. I mean, it's, it's hard to pull off sneakers, honestly. If you're not associated with Nike, they have some of the best designers and, and Adidas. I don't know. Anyway, that's my thoughts on LeVar or Alonzo Ball shoes. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on your first impression of his shoes and what you think. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. As always, follow me on Twitter at MikeSportsLA. We'll talk later. Peace.